Well, hello YouTube. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, I've been working an insane amount of hours, but now it is the Christmas slash New Year shutdown. So I have a little free time. And wouldn't you know it, I have a little free time and the power goes out. That's right, no electricity. See, we're having an ice storm outside here in wonderful Michigan right now. And it just took out one of our aging transformers. At least that's what I'm assuming happened. I saw a bright flash. Power went out. Flash again. Power tried to come back on. Flash again. Then nothing. So either a line went down, a tree hit, hit something. Who knows? We lose power here about six times a year. And it's always during bad weather or... I don't know something happening so I got out my little lantern here I got about six of these I keep ready and I got it going and I wanted to show you something I've been working on uh, it's flashlight related so I thought I'd show you and, and this is it right here and I know you're having a hard time seeing this so I'm gonna take my trusty Fulton and put a little light on it and what this is is this is a piece of PVC that has been turned down um, to fit inside the neck of my Fulton here because I found out something very interesting one day when I was out in the workshop uh, just like this there was a power outage and I was going through the workshop looking for my lanterns and I had my flashlight and I have this rack in the workshop and it's got all my different PVC pipe in it and the light happened to hit the pipe in such a way that the pipe glowed and it kind of made me stop and look at it and say wow I didn't know it would do that so I started playing around with it and the idea was is to make a lantern so without further ado let me explain what this is this is a tube it's plugged at one side I'll put a little light on it so you can see and what is in there is a little wooden plug and what's glued to that plug is the convex surface off a Red Bull can and it's polished like a mirror in there so you got this convex surface in there so when light shines down through here it bounces the light back and I've turned this tube down and made it thinner originally when I started out this tube was I think inch and, inch and a quarter uh, schedule 40 now it's like half the wall thickness it normally was and let me show you how this all works now we have a power outage and of course I got this lantern out here but let's say I want a little bit safer lighting because let's face it this is a flame if I drop this I could have a fire you know be pretty bad but I need to go get one more thing I realized I didn't have out here so I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna restart it here in a minute I'll be right back okay I'm back and what I went and got was a little stick this is like a craft stick or lollipop stick now if you were in the great outdoors you just pick up a stick off the ground put it in the back clip of your flashlight put your flashlight down now the flashlight can't roll then we insert our land I'm gonna call it the lantern tube go ahead and turn it on and look how stupidly bright that is let me move this lantern away so you can really see I mean look at that that's bright enough to read by uh, perfectly safe doesn't get hot or anything because I got that uh, 180 lumen LED bulb in here I got the mark 3 battery conversion in here so I'm pushing 180 lumens and look at that ain't that something so part of the idea with this was is I didn't want it to be just for the Fulton because I've gotten another flashlight here I want to show you boy this is gonna be hard I'm gonna have to take that out 
But let me show you this other flashlight I got. I'm really happy with it. See if I can get this to focus. There we go. And what this is, this is the Bushnell uh, Tracker 125L. And it's 125 lumens, runs off a single double A battery. And it has three lights, well, four settings on the switch. It has off, it has on, with just regular light, 125 lumens. If you hit it again, you have red light, which helps protect your night vision. And if you hit it again, you got this ultraviolet light for blood tracking. And it's pretty cool. Well, I wanted to alter this to where it would also accept this flashlight. So I made a little ring to where it would fit in snugly in here, just like that. I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to kick it on. And look at that. Isn't that cool? And if I hit it again, I got the red light. Doesn't that look like a lightsaber? It's just crazy how that PVC does that. Now see, before this had happened, I had thought about buying a electric lantern. I was looking at the Bushnell ones, and I was like, man, you know, like 40 bucks for their entry level one. I didn't know if I really wanted to spend that money, but guess what? Now I don't. I've got the perfect piece of kit made in my shop. So stupidly simple. So my battery is about to die on the camera, so I'm going to cut this video short. When I get power back, I'll edit, put it together, put this up on YouTube for y'all to watch. And I do have something else I am working on to put on YouTube. Uh, no hints. You'll just have to wait and see. All right. I'll catch y'all later. I hope y'all have a happy new year and good holidays. All right. We just got power back. So... I thought before I uh, get ready to turn in for the night, I'd go ahead and I'd show you in better lighting the little lamp guy, lamp attachment I made. So if you can kind of see down in there, you can kind of see the polished uh, aluminum from the bottom of a Red Bull can. It was the skinny can, and I just cut that out and polished it and mounted it to a uh, piece of wood put it in there and then that's just some black paint but that's about it there's a little ring I made and put in here so I could use the uh, Bushnell flashlight that you've already seen and then all I did to set that up w with is I just used this stick outdoors you just use whatever stick you could find and then this is turned down to where it'll fit just inside here and then of course you know it goes on I'll tell you what it really does work really well I'm glad I had it so that's about it like I said short video now I know I said I wouldn't hint or anything but I do have a how-to video coming up. It's pretty cool. For people who like to work with metal, it'll be really, really cool. Uh, something recently I've been messing with, and I'm so happy with it. It's just not even funny. So, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe or you're going to miss it. All right, later.